Hi, my name is Markus Knauer and today I will present you our approach Recall, Rehearsal Free Continual Learning for Object Classification. This is a joint research between the German Aerospace Center, DLR, and the Technical University of Munich. A mobile robot like Justin is operating in a continual changing environment. Therefore, if the robot is exploring its surroundings, it is essential that it is able to learn new, never seen objects on the fly. And it is crucial that this learning is done without forgetting of previous knowledge. We tackle this challenge with continual learning and we go even further as we don't want to save previous seen images. This is called rehearsal free. The training procedure looks like this. New sequences of categories arrive over time. For example, here five new object categories. Each sequence has new, never seen categories and the images of previous categories are not stored. The biggest problem we face here is catastrophic forgetting. Let's show this in an example in which we try continual learning with a pre-trained ResNet 50, a fully connected layer and a classification layer. The first problem is that we have to know the number of categories the network can eventually learn, as the classification layer has 10 outputs. The second problem emerges after successfully training the first sequence containing five initial classes. Here we do not have the labels of the previous classes, causing the network to forget them with every training step. As soon as the network is able to classify all new classes, the old ones are entirely forgotten. One of the reasons is the classification loss, which uses a softmax and therefore relies on increasing the logits to ensure that the new output values get closer to 1. At the same time, the output values of the prior sequences are pushed towards zero, which could be described as forgetting. We tackle these challenges with our approach for rehearsal-free continual learning called Recall. We start with a frozen ResNet 50 backbone. For each sequence, a new head is added and trained. Therefore, one does not have to know the number of classes beforehand. In addition, each sequence has its fully connected layer, so it can learn features to distinguish between the classes within each sequence. Now, when a new sequence arrives, we take the previous network weights and calculate the logits for each input image of the current sequence. Those are then used as our recall labels for the training in order to avoid catastrophic forgetting. Finally, all new categories are trained. We define three new loss terms. A simple regression loss for the old categories, where we use the recall labels as a target. A cross entropy loss with softmax for the new categories. And also a cross entropy loss with softmax over all categories. Like this, the network is already able to learn new categories without completely forgetting the old ones. However, as mentioned before, using a cross-entropy loss increases the variance over the logits for each added new sequence. This increase pushes new categories towards 1 and old categories towards 0, even if the logit value is perfectly regressed. This also explains why the forgetting gets more significant over time. One solution is to divide the difference between the logit outputs and the recall labels by the variance per category, which is similar to a Mahalonobis distance. Another solution is to replace the cross entropy loss with a regression loss, so that instead of using a softmax, we now clamp the outputs. This replacement removes the variance shift. We evaluate our approach on different datasets. First, on Core 50, which is a widely used dataset in continual learning. Our approach, depicted in black, outperforms AR1, which is, to our knowledge, state-of-the-art in rehearsal-free continual learning on this dataset. 
On iCypher, we even outperform some rehearsal strategies shown in blue dots and squares, which have access to data examples from previous sequences. We also created our own dataset called Household Objects Within Simulation Dataset for Continual Learning, or Short House. It has more objects, sessions, and instances than any other dataset for continual learning. Furthermore, it is available in 5 or 12 sequences. As we use Blender Proc as a pipeline for our synthetic data generation, it is pretty easy to add new classes. As a bonus, we can also get a corresponding depth, segmentation and normal image, which we added to the dataset. On our dataset with five sequences, recall is the best performing rehearsal-free approach, while all others suffer from catastrophic forgetting. Here, the advantage of rehearsal approaches is shown, but keep in mind that they store previous training examples. The 12 sequence version of our dataset is particularly challenging. Here, Recall performs similar to the approaches, which saves samples from prior sequences but also suffers from forgetting. But we still show a significant performance difference to the other rehearsal free approaches. Our contribution We introduced a novel algorithm for rehearsal free continual learning named Recall. We evaluated the distribution shift and proposed two solutions. And finally, we introduced a new dataset for continual learning called House. Thank you for your attention and please find our code and dataset online.